what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i have a team haul for you guys i know it's been a while since you've seen me um caveat is that i actually did record a video back a few couple of weeks ago and i still have not gotten around to finish the editing and what's holding me up is i have a couple of items of clothing that i need to try on I haven't even gotten around to trying them on, let alone filming that. And so, you may see that after this one. So, just be aware. But, I'm coming back to you guys with a Timu haul. And I'm pretty sure there's not any clothing that I need to try on in these in these orders. There's technically three orders um, in these bags. There are two orders in one bag. And one part of that is in separate. Um... But this other bag right here, it's only three pieces. It's a, it was a three-piece order, and it is all in one bag. So, I'm going to give you what I got here. It's just a, it's going to be a small Timu haul. Um, as far as anything that I'm wearing from Timu, sorry, my daughter is in bed. And I'm watching her throw all her stuff out of her crib. <laughs> um, she's supposed to be going to sleep. But... Anywho, I can't worry about that right now. I'm going to try to make this quick. My boyfriend is out. Um, he was, he had gone out with her and, um, by the time I got off work, he was saying, you know, she's getting tired and she probably should go back home and go to bed. And I still have some things I got to get. So, you know, I met up with him. We exchanged the child, and <laughs> I brought her back home with me, and she's in bed right now, supposed to be going to sleep, but you know how toddlers are. But as far as what I'm wearing, the shirt is from Timu. Um, I will link this down below. The necklace is from Timu, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the necklace is from Timu. Um, and the earrings are from Timu as well. Um, I will link these down below as well. Um... Before I jump in to this, just letting y'all know, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. Um, if you're a returning viewer, I'm so glad to see you guys back here. I love my returning viewers. I love seeing the comments from the same people. <laughs> um, I, I love seeing familiar names in the comment section. But if you're already a watcher of mine, then you know what I'm about to do. Um, I am an affiliate for Timu. Um... I will post a discount code here on the screen for you guys. And I also have an affiliate link, which I'll post down in the description box as well. Um, if you use either one of these methods um, on Timu as a first time user, as a first time app, download, app downloader and a first time customer, you will get 30% off your first order. If you use the affiliate link down below in the description box, you'll get 30% off as well as a $100 coupon bundle um, upon placing your first order. Um, but if you use a discount code, you can still get the 30% off. You just don't get the coupon bundle. Um, I don't make it, I try not to make a big deal about the Timu affiliate thing um, just because I don't get much money from it anyway. I think everybody in the world, most of the people um, in the world who have, are ever going to download Timu have probably already downloaded it. <laughs> so there's not a lot of new people that you can bring in. Um, but I'm going to show you what I got and everything that I'm going to show you is going to be listed down below in the description box as well. I will have links to everything. If anything is, um, discontinued or sold out, whenever I go to do my editing, I will try my best to find an alternate link, um, with a comparable quantity and or price um if i'm not able to find an alternate link i will just have to let you know that it was discontinued or out of stock and i couldn't find an alternate link also down below in the description box right below where i put my affiliate link and code in i will also put my fishland and farmland codes down there in case you're interested if you're already on timu um if you play those games um, just type in those um, number sequences into the search bar and that will take you directly to the game and add me as a friend. Now, you do have to kind of do that every um, every round. So like, suppose I feed all my fish 
um, and I and I win that round and I get my free items. When I start a new round of feeding fish, I have to start all over with adding friends. So don't be afraid to if you need to go back and do that a couple of times, more than once. I understand. <laughs> um, I, I will try to put the round that I'm in currently at that time because every time you do a new round, it gives you a new code. So I will try my best to remember to make sure that my fish land and farm land codes are um, current. Um, at least on the videos that I'm on and maybe the one before it if I need to. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get into these before I talk too much because I need to get this stuff <laughs> filmed. Um, there's going to be crinkling and crackling of plastic. I try my best not to handle it too much. Um, because I know that it does bother some people, especially if you have headphones on. Um, if something is just taking an extra long time to get into, I will just try my best to, like, edit it down as much as possible. So, prices will be listed right here. And, like I said, everything will be listed down below in the description box. Links to everything will be down below in the order that it was shown. There's always something that I'm forgetting to say. I always feel like there's something I'm forgetting to say. So, the first thing <laughs> in this huge bag. So, this, this right here, this little bag right here, this was just a three-piece order. Um, I think what this was, um, was I had gotten an offer for... I forget what it was, but it was something that I only needed to pick out three items to basically get the amount that I needed. Um, I forget what it was. I'm sorry. It was a deal. It was a discount thing that I got. Um, so the first thing we have is this cute, super cute, super soft. Oh my gosh, super soft. It's a little bathrobe for Abby for when she gets out of the bathtub. Isn't that cute? Just little flowers on it. That is adorable, y'all. And as you can see, it's got the hood. It's got the hood. So super cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Um, it doesn't have any kind of tie or anything. It's just a, it's just like a robe. Um, oh, it does have a tie, duh. So there is a tie. So, but yeah, super cute. This is like so soft. It's so soft and so yeah so pick that up I need to remember I think she's mad at one of her toys so next up I got this set of silicone lids Silicone look, really likes to stick to plastic, doesn't it? <laughs> but this is just a set of lids that are great for, um, like, when you're eating dinner and, um, you just want to cover up, like, say you've got a side dish in a bowl. Um, this is great for a cover for that bowl. That way, making sure nothing gets into it. No bugs or dust or dirt or anything gets into it. So, just a set of silicone lids. You got five sizes. In five different colors. So, really teeny, teeny tiny bowl. <laughs> so, yeah. Just some silicone covers for um, bowls and pans and stuff. Um, obviously, this biggest one is not huge. Um, I forget what about... This is probably about... Maybe six inches, about the size of my head. <laughs> so, um, and it does have the holes. I guess you could hang them up on a, a hook if you wanted to. So, yeah. So yeah, I got those. Um, I'm not gonna bother trying to put them back in the bag right now. <laughs> it took forever to get them out. And then the last thing in this order 
I got this for Abby as well. Um, I don't know if she's going to be able to use it or not. Um, at least not right now. But I got it for her because she kind of likes doing this sort of thing. Um, it looks like this. Like, it looks like a big wallet. It has Velcro. And these are just, they're like plastic, sheeted plastic um, that you can draw on. And they come with um, a pack of three, like um, dry erase markers. So you can scribble on them and then it can be wiped off. And I do like how it has this little pocket in here that you can uh, store your dry erase markers in. So yeah. Just a little booklet, you know, that can, you can draw in, scribble in. Um, and then, like I said, it can be erased and reused. So, super cute. Something super fun. So, that was all that order. <laughs> so, next up, I'm going to open this single item. I know what it is. And, y'all, these things on Amazon right here, I know what this is. So, um, but these things on Amazon are not at all and I'm pretty sure I got good good price on it on Timu because um, I had actually ordered a lid like this this is a silicone lid for the instant pot um, pot part um, so like say you cook something in an instant pot and you have leftovers instead of trying to put everything in dishes um, put your lid on it put it in the fridge um but I, I had ordered one from amazon and i ordered the six quart one because i genuinely thought i had a six quart one but apparently i have an eight quart one because a six quart lid was too small so i ordered an eight quart one from timu um so i'm really hoping this fits better it looks like it should fit but yeah so that was literally all that was in that bag. Um, that was a separate piece that came with the rest of um, what's in this bag. Now there's actually two orders in this bag. There's actually two orders in this bag. Obviously something is like super square. So let's get into this. Oops. Let's try not to cut up the important stuff. So, there's some stuff like here on the end, so I'm just going to get into this first. There may or may not be things in here that are, like, Christmassy kind of related. Um, but I, if there is, I'm, if there is, it's, it's like one or two things, maybe. I don't know. Um, so the first thing I have in this bag is a purple, um, water spring mist, um, bottle. Sorry. It's a purple water spray bottle. Um, and they did have this in, in different colors. And I got this because sometimes I need to wet Abby's hair down just a little bit to be able to do anything with it. Like right now, I was trying to do her hair yesterday. And there's so much static in the air, her hair just kept wanting to like fly off on me. Um, and I, honestly, I just didn't feel like trying to go and wet it down. But this will come in super handy for needing to wet her hair down or anything you might need to spray water for. <laughs> um, but these are supposed to be like long lasting. Like you're supposed to be able to just hold it down like that and it's misting. It's like it's not supposed to be a, a heavy spray, but it's more it's supposed to be like a mist. Um, kind of like what um, hairstylists use. So, but I got it in purple because purple is my favorite color. So, next up, um, I got one of these. These things look weird, I know, but I got one because these can be used on di in different applications. These can be used for Cricut, like if you have a Cricut and you're making projects. These can be used for um, putting your weeding um, scraps in, like your vinyl, like when you're weeding out a certain 
design and you have the extra uh, sticky sticker bits um you know you can weed it you can kind of put it off in there um or if you're a diamond painter like myself then you can put like trash diamonds in here um or maybe um if you empty out your wax pen um you can put your spare wax in there um just kind of a trash little little trash thing you can use so picked up one of those because it is definitely it's needed sometimes not a lot but sometimes just something i can have here with me in case i get a trash drill or two um instead of having to put it back in the container and just remembering not to use it and hoping i don't get it again <laughs> i can just go ahead and just put it off in here so i'm actually gonna put that over here um actually no i'm gonna put it off to the side right now because if i leave it there and abby gets up and she sees it she's gonna want to play with it Yes, I'm drinking coffee. It's in the evening, and yes, I'm drinking coffee. So next up, um, I have this beautiful pair of earrings. Yes, I'm gonna take it out of the package. If I can get to it. <laughs> um, beautiful, beautiful. And they did have these in a couple different colors as well. But I just thought these were absolutely beautiful. So, I guess I'm going to try them on for you. I'll try one on. Just for y'all. And they did come with the little couple little rubber pieces. I do try my best to save those. So super pretty super pretty I do like to try on the jewelry so that you guys get an idea of maybe how long it hangs um, or necklaces you can kind of tell how long they are I don't know if there's any other earrings in here if not I'll just take this one back out So yeah, super pretty earrings. I love that, that kind of purpley blue color. I love that. Um, so next up, so there is a brush that is going viral on TikTok. Um, maybe even YouTube also, I haven't seen it on YouTube because I may not be following the right people. Um, but there is a brush on TikTok called the unbrush and I have bought I bought one I actually bought a pack of two um, and this is a dupe for that for the unbrush and I am very much interested to see if they work the same let me let me grab my unbrush real quick Let's see Okay, so this is the Unrush. Um, you can see it has like the hexagons shapes in the middle here. And this is the one I just got from Timu. Sorry, let me just show this one to you first. Um, but this one has like these little diamond shapes um, in between the bristles. And I'm very much interested to see if this, how these compare. Um, I mean, I guess looking at it straight on, they look similar as far as the bristle pattern and stuff. But I'd be interested to see how well this one performs as well. So let me see if I can try it. Take my hair down here for a second. Some of y'all are about to be traumatized. Okay. Just in case you don't like somebody just yanking the thing out of their hair. So this is my hair. And we're gonna see. The thing the the thing about the unbrush is it's supposed to be amazing. It is and it is a really good brush, y'all. I'm not <laughs> I'm not a sponsor or anything for unbrush, but it really does live up to its hype. So this is supposed to be a dupe for the unbrush. 
Um, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. So, let's try that again with the unbrush. Yeah, don't do the dupe. Don't get the dupe. Just stick with the unbrush. Um, yeah. And you can see, like, look, you saw. I'm gonna do this again for y'all. And I'm not just saying this, look. Like, it's doing good on this side, but watch. Like, it's doing good on this side, but, like, there's a knot there. Anyway. I'm, I'm not a fan of the dupe. I mean, it'd be good for me to use, like, you know, just a regular brush for me to use. Um, but, if you need a brush, if you need a really good brush, get the unbrush. That's what it looks like, right? I have five unbrush um even if you're not on tiktok just kind of search it on google and i'm sure you'll come up with a place to find it but it is it is phenomenal y'all it really does live up to the hype um especially my daughter's hair what do i have on here um especially my daughter's hair my daughter's hair gets tangled so easily and while it doesn't just like absolutely 100% glide through her hair um it's it still loads better than a regular brush so I recommend getting one unbrush so but the dupe not so much maybe if you just need another brush it's I guess it's a pretty good brush but um I'm not impressed with the dupe sorry uh, I give you all my real feelings on these good brush but it's not a good dupe for unbrush. Um, so what we got next here? This is a handle that I got. I'll get it out of packaging here for y'all before I start talking about it. So this is a, a handle that I got to put on one of my tumblers. Move y'all back over just a tad. And I'm really hoping it fits this time. I'm really hoping it fits this time. As a matter, matter of fact, let me go grab that real quick and we're gonna see right here now if this fits. Okay, so this is a 30 ounce tumbler that I got from Timu. Um, and I'm really hoping. This already looks like this is gonna be too big, y'all. I don't know what it is. I want a handle for this. And I have yet to find a handle. Just something. Anything. So, this is not going to work for what I want it to work for. So, yeah. Probably not for a 30 ounce tumbler. Because like I said. Anywho. I got one of those. And obviously, like I said, not going to work for what I got it for. What? I really thought I was buying something else. I'm wondering if I thought I was buying different colored hoop earrings or if I thought I was buying binder rings. Y'all do not let me lie to you. I knew full well these were earrings when I bought them because I wanted the black ones. Maybe I thought I was buying hoop earrings. I don't know. Um, but just, as, just a, I think it's eight pairs of different multicolored hoop earrings. Not much to show y'all. And I'm not gonna be trying these on right now <laughs> because they are tiny. And when you have long nails, like like I got on right now, sometimes dealing with small things can be tricky. So just a pack of small, um, small hoop earrings. All right, what's next? Diamond paintings, a couple of diamond paintings. It would not be a Southern Simple haul if I didn't have diamond paintings in here. No, I'm not a huge diamond painter. I do diamond paint, um, but not. it's not my only craft. 
Okay. <laughs> All that's left is this box. Right here. And I don't even remember what this is. Maybe y'all can help me. Big square box. What is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> Took me a second to realize it. This is actually a little decoration to put out in the yard. Um, look, it's gonna look funny, y'all. I'm I warn you, it's gonna look funny. Um, but this is a decoration you put out in the yard. It has a pole. And literally that's all it that's all it does. Sorry, I'm holding it like this. So, you know, it reacts to wind. Um so like right now, today, the way it's been, this would have been so pretty out in the yard with the wind blowing and everything. So but like I said, it has a pole. So you would put this in your yard. And it's just a really pretty decoration. So I kind of have an idea where I want to put this. I think I want to put it over by our tree. Um, that's in our yard. So, really pretty. Like I said, it comes with a, a pole that you put together. You got two pieces for the pole part. And then you have um, this piece right here that actually goes down in the ground. Um, so, it's kind of like a, <laughs> um, what do you call it? Like a two prong, two prong thing that you put in the yard. So, so that's cool. I'm hoping I can put that up this weekend. You know, when I get time. I'm working like every day. Like I work today, I work tomorrow, I'm working Sunday. Um, pretty much because one of our other ladies is sick. And she has been for the last couple of weeks. So next up. Um, next up we have just kind of a small trivet, um, and it's gotten a little bent up, but I think, hopefully it should flatten out. But this is just a small little trivet, um, good for putting, like, a little small hot bowls or something on. Or even if you want to hold the bowl in it, <laughs> just like that. Um, but it's a really cute little small little silicone trivet. Um, I have a couple of different sets of underwear in here. Obviously, I'm not going to be trying them on for y'all, but I will show you what I got. Um, the first set is a three-pack, I believe. Is it a three-pack? Or is it a two-pack? No, this was a two-pack. Just a two-pack of <laughs> um, multicolored leopard underwear. I mean, they're stretchy. They feel stretchy and soft. So... Uh, whenever I get a chance to try these out, I will let you know how I like them. And I think I usually, in my underwear and stuff, I usually get the 4X, which equals to a 20. And I usually wear, yeah, I got a 4X. Um, I usually wear, in American sizes, I wear a 20 to 22 uh, most of the time. So, the 4X is usually a good size for the underwear. And the other set that I got was some striped ones. And I'm pretty sure this was a free pack of um, some lace, um, lace trimmed briefs. Just like that on front. And then on the back. Um, and this is one, two, three. This is a five pack. We've got red, black, um, a light pink, a tan, and a kind of bluey gray color. So, really pretty. Guess I will be trying those on. Just something, a little something, you know. And these are the striped ones <laughs> that I thought I was picking up. I didn't even realize those were in, in there. Um, but these are just in the more striped... Um, like boy shorts, underwear. I like boy shorts, but they're hard to find these days, especially in plus size. Um, but just some boy short underwear. And this is a three pack. So you've got this color here. It's gray with the blue and the pink and the purple, sorry, pinky purple. And then you got a color, it's gray. 
all gray stripe. And then you got a color here that's like pinky um, and gray with purple. So, and these also are really soft and stretchy. So, so, so yeah. I have bought so much of my underwear that I have currently at Team on Timu, and I like it. I I really like it. Obviously, I like the underwear on Timu, or I wouldn't keep buying more. Um. So next up, I don't know if y'all remember a while back me ordering a like metal butter like spreading spoon, spreading knife, um, a spreader, a spreading knife. <laughs> Um, that thing does not get used, y'all. That thing does not get used. Um, even though I told him, I was like, it's here. I got this for you. Use it. Does he use it? No. <laughs> um, but I found this one also. This one is just a big plastic butter spreading knife or jam. It's a spreading knife. So, I picked that up. Hopefully, be able to convince him to use it. Because I don't hardly ever use anything like this, so... We'll see. <laughs> or maybe I can try it when I make a peanut butter sandwich one day. I don't know. I'm going to put that over here because it's kind of small. Um, next up. I'm getting to the end. I only have a couple more things left to do. I want to save the uh, two diamond paintings for y'all. For y'all. So, we have a really pretty ring. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I can't see this ring right now. I know what it is. I can barely make out what it is. And I remember it. So this is gorgeous um, shamrock. I don't know if you're going to be able to say it. It's a gorgeous like shamrock ring. And that's all it is. It's just shamrocks all the way around. <laughs> They're really cute. Um, in one of my previous videos, I think I said something about, you know, a four leaf clover. Like my birthday is in March. Um, and St. Patrick's Day is also in March, so I kind of have an affinity for, um, like four-leaf clovers, and somebody in my comments was saying, you know, technically, they're clovers, um, only four, it, when they have a four-leaf, it's a shamrock, um, but it, otherwise it's a clover. I don't know, I just know I like them, whether they got three or four leaves, <laughs> so, so yeah, really pretty, especially with... St. Patrick's Day around the corner. Got to make sure I have some green. And that did come in a beautiful in a cute little box. So I'm gonna put it back in the cute little box. So um next up I got another one of these and I'm kinda glad I did. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I actually have more coming as well. Um but I got another one of these. It's a popsicle holder. And I'm kind of glad I did because I have another two somewhere and we have no clue what happened to them. Um, but picked up another one so that maybe now when Abby wants a popsicle, we have a popsicle holder to put it in. At least until this one gets lost. <laughs> so pick that up. And this next thing is so funny, y'all. I saw that and I did not hesitate to add it to my cart. Um, it is a pin. And it's my intention, as with a lot of the, like, lapel pins that I buy, to someday break the pin part off, um, the needle part, and actually, um, glue, um, a magnet to it, so that I can make it into a needle slash cover minder needle minder for cross stitching um or cover minder for diamond painting but i saw this i had to get it right away please do not pet the peeves <laughs> everybody has pet peeves y'all <laughs> but we, we we don't pet the peeves we can have them we just don't pet the peeves so I just really thought that was so funny. I couldn't help myself. So last, oh no, take that back. We have some ear, some more earrings. 
I thought these were going to be more blue, but they are more silvery. Um, ah, grab my scissors. I don't feel like trying to figure out where the thing is. So. But I had gotten these cute, really pretty snowflake earrings. And he came home. <laughs> but he went right back out. He had to go take some stuff out to the house anyway. So, so really pretty. Super sparkly if you can't tell. I'm not going to put these in, but I'll hold them up so you can kind of get an idea. Super fun. So, technically you can still wear snowflakes in January because it's technically still winter. So, super cute. And these are more of like, like an acrylic plasticky acrylic so yeah and they did come with the little rubber pieces on there so so yeah super pretty I don't know why I was thinking I had gotten like a blue blue pair I don't know um so now lastly we have diamond paintings I'm gonna show you this other one first because it's smaller this is a Christmassy diamond painting, but it is a partial drill. It is a partial special drill. Sorry, the special drill. And if you're not familiar in diamond painting, because I do get comments a lot about the diamond painting thing. Um, in diamond painting, you've got basically three different kinds of diamond painting. Um, the three main kinds of diamond painting. You've got your full drill, which is the majority of what I do. That's where your the whole picture has diamonds in it. Then you have a partial drill, which is maybe the background doesn't have diamonds, but the main part of it, say a fairy or some flowers or whatever, but the main part of it does, but the background is just printed. Um, that's a partial drill. And then you have ones like this, which is a special drill. It is a partial special drill. Um, which means that it uses not regular diamond painting diamonds, but it uses more of like rhinestone diamonds. Um, so I just thought he was super cute. I couldn't help myself. I don't do a lot of seasonal, um, crafting, whether it be diamond painting or, or cross stitch. Um, but I do every once in a while, but I don't do a lot, but just a little bit here and there. So I just saw him, I thought he was so cute. The gnome in the little red truck. Because y'all know in that one one haul, I had a little red truck. And there is there is a, a popular thing around Christmas with the little red truck with a tree in the back. So, super cute. He is super, super cute. And, but like you see how, um, I'm gonna try to show you, but you see how there's only um, this, the dots like around the edges of the truck? Like this whole truck is not filled in with diamonds. Um, just around the edges and then the stuff right here, back here is filled in. Um, and there's only like the dots here and there in his hat. His whole hat is not filled in. So th this is a special drill. And then you have the rhinestones here. And the reason it's a special drill is because it's not just your small rhinestones, but you see, you can see one right there, a little red. Um, ah, can't see it now. Of course, it wants to go down. Um, but you see, there is a red stay. <laughs> there is a red jewel right there, and that is one of the special special drills because um, there is like special shapes. So, I do occasionally do um, special drill rhinestone ones, special drill um, diamond paintings. Not often. Um, they're just not really my thing most of the time. But every, every once in a while, like this one, I will come across ones that I think is just super cute or really it's going to be pretty. It's going to be gorgeous um, as a special drill. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you all a bonus right now. Um, this is the one I actually found. No, that's not it. Sorry, wrong one. 
So this is one that I actually found the other day. And between that one and two other ones that I have over here, I want to complete all of three of these. Um, and then hopefully do that by June. Um, two of them, this one I should be finished pretty quickly. Um, then the other one, um, shouldn't take maybe a couple of weeks to do. It's my big one, my big square one that's going to take the longest. And I really want to be done with that by June. Um, so that I can start the one that I had bought in commemoration of my dad who passed away in June of last year. But this is another, um, example of a special drill. This is just a bigger one. I'm going to take this down so y'all can get the full effect. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you see how it just, it sparkles. You have these special diamonds there and like little teeny tiny diamonds. Sometimes you get, um, special drills with pearls, um, or, you know, rhinestones in shape of stars or just different things. But a special drill basically is like rhinestone, but sometimes they have special shapes. Um, or like I said, maybe pearls or... Um, a drill that looks like a gold bead or something like that. So, but this one I, sh I should be almost done with. Um, it shouldn't take me a couple more hours to do this one. And yes, I'm slow. I'm slow at it. See my cat? <laughs> my pitiful, <laughs> my pitiful, um, clingy cat. Um, so one last thing and then I will let y'all go. And that is another diamond painting. This one is a full drill. <laughs> um, and it is a, what size is this? Um, it is a 40 by 40 centimeter. Generally with diamond paintings, they're measured in centimeters. Like if I look at a diamond painting and I see inch measurements, I'm lost. I'm like, oh, how big is that? I don't know how big that is. And I'm in America. We use, we, we, we use inches. We don't use centimeters. But I understand diamond paintings more size wise when it comes to centimeters but i picked up this really pretty hydrangea one hydrangeas are my favorite flower um and i think that goes back to my grandmother um in the house that she lived in had a hydrangea bush on the side of her house and it was uh, for some reason like it always turned different colors like one season it would be blue and another season it would be purple and they, they turn different colors like that based on the acid content in the soil. So, just a little tidbit in case you didn't know. But, beautiful little hydrangea. And they had different ones on Himu. They had a couple different hydrangea ones. Um, and I'll probably get the other ones too. But, I don't have a lot of hydrangea stuff. For it being my favorite flower anyway. So, but really pretty. And this one actually has the beads in the uh, separate special baggies. Like you see how they're in there, little special baggies. So that gives you an idea of the colors. Sorry. I'm trying not to give y'all so much glare. So yeah, really pretty. Um, and I think, I don't think there's any kind of like um, AB drills or anything like this in there. Let me get my glasses so I can kind of see how the, how this is. Um, it looks like it's another one where the um, image has just been um, underlaid uh, uh, under the a grid. And so the finished product is not gonna be this clear looking. The finished product is gonna be very, it's gonna be kind of pixelated. Um, yeah, there's not any, any special drills or, um, AB drills or uh, glitter drills or anything like that in here. It's just a regular, regular old diamond painting. So, yeah, really pretty. But, yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Alright, guys, leave it up to me to leave something out. When this fell out, I guess it went under my booty and... I didn't see it. So this was a pair of earrings. Um, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So my boyfriend can be coming back in any minute. So really pretty. 
It has the gold. It has like some hearts. And this is like a like a tin. It's not not super thick, but it's but they're pretty. Oh, that didn't. Since this is the last thing, guys, I will put them on. So, and of course, it doesn't want to sit right on my ear. Um, but yeah, they're cute. Super cute. I guess I'll find something <laughs> to put with these. So, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to get them. So, I love Timu Jewelry. So, but that's all. Something that I forgot. <laughs> Bye for now. So, let's get myself. Some. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all I got for y'all for today. Um, again, I will post links to everything down in the description box below if you're not familiar with how to get to the description box, which I have been asked that before. Um, if you if you're watching, like say on a phone or a tablet, right up underneath this video where you see the title, at the end of the title, you will see dot 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 more. If you click on that, um, it will open up the description box. If there's more in the description box than what can be shown in that little box, you go down to the bottom of that where it says dot 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 more again and click on that and it will open up the entire description box. Um, I think as far as if you're watching on a TV, you can see the description box. You can see comments, but you can't actually click on any links and you can't comment on anything if you're watching from a TV, especially like if you're watching through the smart TV or you're watching from an Amazon Fire Stick or anything. But that's that's what I can tell you um, as far as how to find the description box. Some people don't know that. I have got that question before. But that's going to be it, guys. And I um, hope you saw something that you liked. If you did, don't, don't forget to give me a, a big old thumbs up. And if you keep coming back to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Save us all the good, save us all the time. <laughs> and don't forget to click on the notification bell if you want to know when I upload a new video. I know it's been a hot minute since I posted a video and I know some of y'all were starting to question if I was coming back or not. I am. Um, things just got a little bit busy around here and honestly, I kind of just needed to break from YouTube and Timu hauls and all that good stuff. Some of y'all have been asking about my friend Cheryl. She's fine. She's also taking some time off from YouTube. She's got some stuff going on um, on her end as well, but she she did kind of want to step back a little bit from YouTube. Um, but I'm sure um, if and when she gets ready to come back, she will, she'll come back and I will be sure to let you guys know. So that's all I got for y'all for today. Um, I will see y'all again real soon, I promise. I promise <laughs> um, one of these days I'm gonna get those couple of items tried on and then be able to upload the previous thing that I did but you'll see it when you see it uh, but again I'll see you, you guys real soon and until then be good bye for now mm -hmm.